Hey, what's going on? Big Grime here. I got Sonar 7, and this video is for the absolute beginner, somebody who really don't know anything about the program. Um, and this also going to apply for like Music Creator, Sonar LE, or if you have like Sonar 2 or 3. Um, some of the features that I'm going to be showing you may not be in the smaller packages or the older Sonars. But this still give you a chance to kind of compare. You may, you know, say, well, man, I really want those features in Sonar 7. I need to upgrade. Or now they have Sonar 8. I need to go and get Sonar 8. So, um, yeah, let's do this. Um, basically, when I turn on my Sonar, I get tip of the day. That's the first thing I get. And sometimes they give you some really good tips. Um some people think they're annoying if you think it's annoying basically what you could do is uh, click at this box down here and it won't show up every time you start up sonar I leave it there just just because I read it sometimes not that often but uh, sometimes they give you some really good tips so um, what you do is close get the quick start which is basically you can open a project you click open and then you search for the folder or if you have had several other projects that you've made before you can come to here open recent project and you can just search it and uh, you can just search the project right here and then click open right here or you can start a new project and this is uh, getting started it just helps you you know how to get started um, again, if you don't want the quick start, you can just click here and it won't show up at, you know, when you first start a sonar. Basically, it'll, it'll be this. You'll get this. As soon as you turn on sonar, you'll get this screen. You won't get those quick starts and all that. Um, to start a new project, you can start a new project at that little template or you can click right here to start a new project. You can click this um, open envelope to open a project or you can go to file and new and opens right here and of course the shortcuts um, now you know what? I'm, I'm gonna skip the shortcuts I'm gonna try to keep this basic as possible um, you can set up your printing setup Cause like if you wanna uh, if you're doing MIDI and you are um, wanna want to print out the the um, scoring of what you're doing then you can do that and then this is all your recent projects right here that you've worked on so it makes it easy sonar gives you a lot of different options to open stuff and and to find stuff and make it very easy all right so what I want to do is I want to start a new project all right it's asking me now um, I can name my project I can tell it where I want to put my project and I can say where I want to put my audio, what folder to put my audio in. If I type in a name, Sonar does it automatically for you. Um, they put it in a Cakewalk Projects in your C hard drive. Um, but let's just say, like, I don't like to name my stuff right away because I don't know. A lot of times I don't know what kind of project I'm going to work on. I might intend to do a hip-hop track and then end up doing an R&B track. So I don't like to name it first. So what I do is I uncheck it. Um, here's your different templates. You got a 16 channel, um, four bus audio mixer, which is like a a real mixer. You know, four buses, 16 channels of audio. Uh, I'm not really gonna get into the buses and stuff too, because that's, like I said, that I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. But basically, it set up your projects the way you want it. Like if you want 24 audio tracks, boom, right there. Click on there, hit OK. It'll automatically load 24 tracks. Um, and that's pretty much, I think that's pretty uh, a thing that's on all the Cakewalk products, even like Music Creator and Ellie and all the, you know, smaller packages. I think you get that. Um, you got 8-track, audio, then you got blank, where it's nothing. It's just just a project you can load your own audio and MIDI tracks you got classic brass full orchestra and stuff like that those are MIDI so if you have software or a keyboard it sets up the MIDI tracks for you already so let's say you want to do a full orchestra 
Cakewalk has made it very convenient for you to um, they load up all the instruments on each MIDI track and they pan them and did the volume for you. They did pretty much they did the, all the homework for you to do a full orchestra. And all you have to do is whatever your sound source is, whether it's your keyboard or software, just make sure that it's applied to that um, to that sound source. And that, you know, they made it easy for you. Um, then you got a jazz band. You got the general MIDI. All this stuff is just MIDI for your um, keyboard or software. Then you see stuff like Mackie. Um, rolling guitar and uh, the JV, you know, 2080. Those are the control of the hardware. You can use Sonar to control the hardware, which is pretty cool. Then you got surround sound, Yamaha 03. That's another hardware that you can control. So that and, and then you got stereo mastering. Basically, it's giving you the environment of what whatever you're trying to do like for me i say you can save your own template so like every time i want to make a beat there's a way that i like to start off and i save it as normal all right so when i hit okay when i make the every time i make a beat i'm starting like this i got my loop already my synth rack is up for my um vsts or dxi instruments and um tempo is always 100 it's just a general of course you know i'm gonna want different tempos um and for the smaller packages you're um you might not have this you might just have it up here where you can change the tempo but basically yeah, this is how i start off when i'm making a beat all right so i'm gonna x out go to new and you see blank, no tracks, no buses, no nothing. I'm going to start off blank. Uncheck that because I don't want to name it yet. Hit OK. All right. Oh, yeah, I have one track on this one. I forgot I overwrite. I saved over top of that. Well, this is how it's supposed to look when you go to blank. And um, file, edit, process, view, insert, transport, go tracks tools options windows and help on the next video we're going to explore these things and and get down to what they really do and what options you have all right look out for the next video and make sure you check me out free big all right for the other tutorial videos beats and sounds